All right, let's do this. Okay, so first of all, not too fond of this rotation. Um, if your attention is, if, if the, the, the team is called that we're going to take point first before anything else, then like sliding this way is fine. But generally speaking, as Reaper, you want to keep going like into the here, um, into cage. So that way, like you can get close to these doors, right? So once you're at this point, you can have the easy rotate and you're always close, right? Um, so the reason why you don't go around, right, is you turn the corner and then the enemy team is like turning the corner and they shoot you before you walk the distance, right? But here, there's this, this pillar that blocks the center. So you can guarantee you get halfway across the room before anyone can shoot you, right? And then from there, you can make a play, right? It'll be like, okay, I'm going this way, I'm going this way, whatever the case, like you can get close to them with the natural cover, right? Whereas like here, you get here and you look, they don't really shoot you, but um, um, uh, you're only like so close to them, right? And then, like they can shoot you, they can shoot you, so you can't like continue walking closer, right? Whereas like you're like, if you've gotten here as they start to rotate, like you can just walk in and start shooting, right? Um, it's just like, like, it's just like physically this spot is closer than this spot, right? I mean, and they end up walking into you anyways for the most part, but like, it's a general principle, right? If they had, if they took a more standard approach and not went straight and didn't go straight to point, um, this would be kind of problematic. It's kind of bad thing. Oops. You're doing a lot of poking, um, but you need to find an opportunity to commit, right? Um, it's a lot easier if your team goes in all at the same time, right? So obviously we're more coordinated, this wouldn't be a huge issue. Um, but if your team is not like coordinated, you still need to like you can still find opportunities when people aren't looking at you, just walk in a little bit deeper, right? Um, you have race form, you can get out fine, right? But um, you you don't do any damage from this range, and you also like don't do anything unless you kill someone, right? So your goal is always to kill someone or at least apply enough pressure that one of your teammates can clean up, right? So your monkey goes in, right? Your monkey's got a good opening. Everybody's either looking at the monkey or dealing with the monkey to some capacity, right? So this is like, and your teammate's going in. This is actually pretty like well timed, right? Everybody's going in roughly the same time except for Andy, um, and also except for you, right? So um, you need to find an opportunity to just like walk in because, um, yeah, uh, if you don't do anything, if you don't walk in as Reaper, you're gonna be sad, right? So this is the this is the time, right? Your monkey's distracting on one side. Your team's going in, right? You just gotta walk in. Then you back out. And meanwhile, by the time you actually do walk in, they're all on the other side of the point, right? And somebody's dead, right? Uh, so now you have to fight your way through turrets and stuff like that, instead of having to be like, um, instead of already being here, right? Or shooting the Ryan point blank, right? When he was right here. Um, alternatively, you could go this way, right? Um, or just like walk in, shoot the turret, and keep going, right? Uh, but you kind of panic. You want to right click, right? You have to back out. We just have missing opportunities to like. Like, even here, like, you jump away from the door instead of just, like, showing your face in the door frame, right? So if you're here, it doesn't really matter if, like, you actually kill anyone. This is just an order of magnitude better than here for Reaper, right? Oh. Yeah, so at the, end of, at the end of all that, you have, like, the least hold on your team, right? Um, and, uh, yeah, like, the team didn't help, didn't really help you. Um, and there, I don't, I don't really remember this, but um, I vaguely, I don't think there was like a major like engagement call or anything. But like, you should be able to, you should be able to find like play off your team. It's better and find good opportunities to go in, right? And the obvious one is like when when your monkey was showing on one side and the rest of the team is going in the other, right? Like, just walk in, right? Just walk in. If you eat too much pressure, you can wraith out. But like the turrets, the turrets, whatever, they don't matter. You can turn and shoot it once if you want. But like, just gotta keep going. This is really hesitant to walk in, right? If you're not sure what to do, just teleport to the high ground and see what happens from there, right? You can even teleport to that high ground if you think someone's over there, right? Um, wait, you just gotta find That was relatively good. Um, 
But yeah, if you just walk in, it works. <laughs> um, what's the one I want to talk about? Oh, right here, do you see how like you're you're kind of backing out for a second, like between shots and stuff like that? You're just kind of backing out, right? Just you should basically almost never stop pressing W in these moments. Um, just keep pressing W. Find somebody and just walk at them, right? You, you see the Reaper, uh, the soldier, just walk at him and try and kill him, right? Um, just just don't stop, essentially. Uh, you're committed. Like Reaper is very like I don't want to say one dimensional, but he's very um. Um, not linear. The word I'm looking for is uh, uh, all or nothing, right? You're either like committed or you're leaving with wraith form, and there's not really an in between, right? Um, so you just like the team's going in, like you're going in. You're not stopping until you're until you feel like you're you're in danger, and then you wraith form out, right? Ah! Overall, this is pretty good. So that's super awkward. If you just teleport to high ground, uh, try and see if anyone else can cap first. <laughs> uh, because, um, oh, did I go forward? I went forward. Um, because you'd much rather not drop if you don't have to, because you just finished like, getting up there, right? And you don't have easy access to high ground without your cooldown, right? So once you teleport up, and you see that this is going on, you're like, oh, crap. And then you look and you see a teammate, right? Don't jump, right? Just check the edge first, be like, oh, there's a teammate I can touch, right? And cap. I'm going to say it. Now you're like stuck down here, super awkward, take poke. You don't feel confident in the game. Find opportunities to go in, right? Or flank if your team is not set up to enable you. This comp is set up to enable you, so like you don't have to worry about anything really. You just kind of walk in. Oh, it's holding. Hello. Um, if possible, you want to wait on this ledge and see if you can get healing, so you don't have to drop, right? Because uh, you just teleport up here. Uh, yeah, you're still waiting on cooldown, so like, you, if possible, you just want to stay here and see if they can heal you. And the answer is yes, they can heal you because they're both looking at you, right? And then you get your healing, you unwraith form, and just walk out and go try and see if the soldier's still there, right? Uh, but don't give up your high ground. You don't have to. Because now you're stuck here waiting. I could be used to teleport. You don't teleport. You have to be Check this out. Also, um, if you have time, for example, if you um have time when you're up here, um, I, I don't know if you can teleport from down here to like onto this thing, but that's always the best thing to stand on. <laughs> this is uh, this is the ultimate high ground spot, right? Um, and if people are stupid, they'll like walk out and they won't even notice you're up there, right? And you get free shots. Um, or a free ult, depending on whatever the case may be. Um, I think you can teleport up there from here, right? Uh, or this general area, right? Out here. Out here. Uh, but in ca any case, like, if you're up here and you want to get up there, like, again, you can only do that by waiting for your next teleport. And if you drop, you don't have your teleport. <laughs> Generally speaking, though, you want to hold, like, tight corners, right? So if you see them coming up, right, um, instead of, like, standing here and shooting, right, you just stand here, right? And then you would like wait for the enemy team to walk past you and see because chances are people don't don't walk out of here looking like that, right? They'll like they'll come out of here, you'll see them, they come up here, they lose vision, they come out, they're like, ah, we're fine here. And if you're just hanging out here, you can wait for the backline to come out and kill them, right? Um like a like a soldier or something, right? Um so Yes, you, you can play with your team, that's also really good, but you can also just like wait here for an assassination, right? As long as you play it right, they won't see you. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, that's the other, that's the only, that's, that's the only, like, really, like, um, high school area of Reaper is, um, understanding, like, when to, like, when to hide, when to flank, um, and, like, abuse people's, like, um, uh, moments of inattention or, like, focus on other things, right? 
now you're like in the process of like walking in, and walking in as Reaper always sucks, right? Try to walk in on the Zarya and she just shoots you, right? It's just terrible. Walking in the Reaper sucks. Much better. My ultimate is almost ready. Right. Right. So there were pretty good odds you could just like fight and kill that Zarya, to be honest. Um, if you just wraith out the duration of her bubble and then just kill her. Because um, her whole team was main. I don't know if you knew that, but um, if you did know that, that was definitely like a fightable like like time. If you if you kill the Zarya, like you just win the fight probably for your team. Uh, this ult's not too bad, it's just in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Uh, the makes it bad, but it wasn't that bad, you still got a kill. Uh, you're always happy whenever you kill people with Reaper ult. Uh, but I will say that, especially at our ELO, uh, people are really bad about playing around Reaper ult. So if you catch people by surprise, like, it's usually like a, like a team, like, it's basically a free team uh, fight every time. Um, um, oops. So you look how you play this, like, shoot, miss, like, you see how this whole time you're not actually walking forward, right? You're just kind of like sitting on the side shooting, right? If you just kind of walked in, and then like, like went on this guy, shoot, 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 and then like ult right here, right? They would all die, right? These two guys, the most important people will probably die, and maybe, maybe one of the supports that they turned around, right? But instead you're trying to chase people's reaper roll, and that's always like not a play, right? So if you want to like chase, right, just shoot their McCree, right? Um, but... Reaper ult isn't going to change things, and you're, you're 100, like, this Reaper ult 100% will get you killed, right? Um, so you want to just go for the kill instead of McCree, because you can basically two-shot him. Um, so... Oh. I'm going to check the third map real quick to see if we play anything different. We played Genji. Okay, let's talk about that one. So that was good. Uh, I just think they should be poking earlier. He spent like a solid like ten seconds just the high ground, not shooting anything, and just cutting the ult. Yeah, uh, I will say that, so. So Genji is um has a lot of new ones. Um, obviously, or also wouldn't be so many one tricks. <laughs> um, and uh, but one thing to understand is like um, you want to chain kills, right? So uh, it's good that you're helping your your monkey fight the hog and stuff like that. But you kind of don't want to fight the hog. You'd rather fight like anything else, right? Um, so once you go on the soldier, you kill him. Great. All right. Move on to the next thing. What else can I try and kill, right? Um. Or failing that, what else can I poke, right? So here you fight the the, the Roadhog, that's like the second best option, if like you can't go kill someone, is uh, help your team. It also helps you build a lot of ult, because it's a Roadhog, which is good. Um, but if you look, you just kind of like, um, I don't want to say slow, but you're kind of like locked into one thing at a time, usually. Um, so like you're helping the team with the Roadhog, it's fine. And then you're like, ah, we can't stay here. Because uh, this is bad, so you just try and dash out, right? That's not too bad, but uh, I'd much rather, like, if you dash out, you dash out to, like, somewhere, like, either more aggressive or somewhere where you can, like, keep fighting, right? So if you want to dash out, like, dash up here, right? And now you're here, and you know that you, the monkey can't chase you because he just, like, dash, he just jumped back over here, right? And you can keep poking, and then you can run away if he's eyeing you still. Um, and uh, that way you can keep poking. Um, the thing is, when you do dash over here, it's fine, but again, try and get vertical, right? Anyone want to join me? 
and uh, that way you can look for opportunities to get aggressive, right? Uh, it's very, like, once, you, once you're really vertical, people don't look up, right, just generally. So this is why fire has so much success. But, like, if you're looking here at, at, like, this monkey, you cannot see above that thing, right? So if you're coming up here as Genji, right, now you're in a position where you can get a free, like, well, you can line up shots for free as you're falling on people who cannot see you and won't respond to anything you do until you're on them, right? So, like, you see, like, this Moira, and you'd be like, oh, as you're dropping, triple headshot, dash, you might kill her, right? Um, so uh, use verticality to gain advantage in duels. Um, and initiate duels. Uh, and to choose when to fight, because if you climb this and you see them staring directly at you, then you drop back down and you try again later. <laughs> right? Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, so you see the monkey jump past you, so now you have to make a choice, right? Do I go for the back line, or do I try, to, do I try and focus the monkey, right? But you have to pick one. Um, because, uh, um... Presumably, the monkey made a good jump. He didn't actually make a good jump, but presumably he made a good jump, uh, and that means that like he's either he's going to do something, and you're you're on a timer to like settle this fight before he does something, right? Um, yeah. When this, when this guy commits translocator right in front of you, by the way, uh, you should probably just dash at him, um, especially when he does this, where he like he walks in front of like a corner like this, and now like if you dash, you're also in a safe place, like you can't get shot at, right? So. Um, it's just good to dash at Somers in general, um, because um, they'll try to hack you, and your shurikens are like are not very reliable in this range. If you just dash at them, you'll cancel the hack, right? Um, and then on top of this guy, this guy just committed translocator. He has no escape, right? Just go kill him, right? Uh, this is just, this is about recognizing opportunity. Whenever Genji like you know killing people is good. <laughs> I mean, yeah. but you go for this too late, and now the rest of the team's here. She's trying to back out, so now in order to kill you, you have to go. You have to go deep instead of like killing her just like against this like wall where like she has no escape options, right? And no no help immediate in, in her immediate area. Um, yeah. <laughs> so when whenever a hog gets a hook in, gets a hook in front of you, um. One thing you can do to help your teammates is you can just dash in front of him, and then look up at him and press deflect, and you'll get like three. You'll do like 300 damage to him off of just like him trying to shoot like your teammate, and potentially like he might die because everybody is shooting him on your team, and everybody on the enemy team is also shooting him because they're all trying to shoot you and the, the hook target, right? Um, so yeah, just one thing like it's it's kind of like uh, situational and kind of opportunistic, but every time you see a teammate hook uh, get hooked by a, a hog near you, you can dash and deflect for them, right? Um, and it has reasonable odds of working, especially since like it looked like you were like kind of you were like like um, zeroed in the hog. You're like looking at him. You're like watching his actions. As soon as he goes with the hook, you should be ready to like dash it right. Um, if like you're busy doing other things, like I wouldn't expect you to. But here, like you were just kind of watching the hog, right? So that's a big play you can make there. Um, that will a get you dragon, <laughs> uh, dragon blade, and um, b like save a teammate from a lot of damage. Push your Okay, uh, you probably could go for a blade on this Moira. Um, I know she was like moving away at the time, but um, and you don't have dash. Um, but at th essentially when she popped ult, um, right here, she's relatively close to you. If you were walking forward at this time and you pop blade and just dash on her, she can't get away. Uh, so this is one of the, the weird things about Moira is when she ults, she's paradoxically at her most vulnerable. Um, she doesn't have a, she can't use fade, she can't use orb, um, and all she can do is like try to run away with you, run away from you with her increased speed because she's slightly faster than you during this. Um, but if you get on top of her with dash, like you just need to get two slashes and she'll die. Um, so yeah, things to keep in mind. This is one of, like this. This is not a very great lineup for you to die because there's not really obvious targets. Um, but this is like a great target, right? Because you kill her, like, no. Trigamore is normally, like, close to the We read back. I will not waste this time. Touch from afar. situation we talked about previously <laughs> uh, 
uh, yesterday, where um, when they uh, when you have blade EMP, you want to open with blade because that'll force the beat, right? Just generally in Genji, you want to dash with people. Um, if you're having a lot of problems with, with being able to dash on people, you either need to like find better poke angles beforehand, or you can just swap with Genji. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes there are certain situations where like they just have so much anti-die that like just like Genji is not even playable anymore, right? Good. That's not so good. Uh, <laughs> da uh, chasing monkeys is really good. Um, and just like applying pressure to them because um, monkeys usually expect to chase the Genji out. And if you just walk into him, usually you'll, out be you'll be able to out DPS him if you get like any kind of help. Um, and you if you just dump headshots in his face, right? Uh, but dashing here like locks you into this spot. And now you're in a lot of danger if like you go to the hook, uh, or the monkey chases you. That was a juicy little attack. Help me! That's like a little micro thing that like, you really want to like, really get down. Back and right click melee. And, uh, that was a really good one today. Very meaty. Wait, don't stop shooting! <laughs> As Genji, you pretty much always want to be shooting. Uh, sometimes it's like you. You don't want to, but like in these cases, like when you're controlling space, like projectiles help you control space because anyone who wants to peek into that space, like it eats a eats a shuriken, right? So. I cast this force. We read that. Grams the sample, by the way. I don't know if you heard. Nice. Oh, not so nice. <laughs> So with Lucio, again, like, uh, Lucio is really hard to kill for Genji. So in order to kill Lucio, you have to dash on him, like, perfect. Like, you have to hit him with the dash and then, then go for a right-click melee, right? Uh, or, like, just, like, combo damage, right? Uh, if, if you're not in dash range, don't dash. Um, because uh, unless, like, your whole team's collapsing on a Lucio who's, like, trying to stall or something, right? Like, uh, but dash is really important in, uh, with your ability, like, like, the dash damage is really important, and then, like, the distance, like, putting yourself at exactly the right distance is really important for killing Lucio's as Genji. So, if you want to if you want to chase the like, Lucio, you have to be in range, right? For the dash. And you have dash right now, because, well, you got to reset. Interesting. Well, um, if you wanted to dash up there, that would be really good as well, because he was in range. If you, as, if you set it up properly, then you get a dash, and then you get, a, like, a close, uh, like, a point-blank right-click melee, and he dies. Uh... Oh. Uh, okay. Well, anyways, so couple notes uh, on Reaper. Um, be more aggressive, I guess. Um, like you're either going in or you're or you're leaving, right? Or you're setting up for the, for the fight, right? There's not a lot of like waiting around on Reaper. And if you need teammates to go in, um, if you need to wait for teammates to go in, you can. But just make sure that like when you're going in, you commit, right? You don't back off halfway through. Um, you just kind of don't stop as Reaper until like you feel like you need to stop, and then you press Wraith and you and then you run away, right? The very in and out, not like. Um, uh, sorry. The, okay, the word I was looking for was binary, right? It's either you're attacking, like going in, or you're or you're backing out, right? There's not a lot of in between. Um, on Genji. Um, you need to really abuse high ground, <laughs> um, and uh, probably look be more aggressive on squishies in general. Um, 
There's a lot of times when you're not dashing unless you're absolutely sure it's going to kill people. Uh, or you're using dash to run away. Um, and you're kind of losing a lot of value if you're not trying to like combo people and just try and kill them with dash. Um, obviously, against Lucio Moria, it's not the easiest. Um, but you can still look for opportunities. Um, especially when the Moria like, either commits coal. Uh, not so much when you're, like, if you don't blade, but like... Um, or like you see the Lucio are already used the amp and boop and is trying to run away with like maybe missing some health and you can go for a combo on him. But uh, yeah, you just need to find opportunities to, to just go in on Genji. Um, because Genji is also like a very aggressive character. Um, he has He's like decent poke, so he's better poke than Reaper, which makes him like a little less like um, all in than Reaper. Uh, but he does need to find kills to like maximize his value and also to like give him escape options because, you know, if you kill someone... Uh, you can get out. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. 